Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today nga po, isi-share ko po yung mga nabili ko na mga school supplies para sa law school. By the way, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe. So, let's get to the video. And yun na nga po. So today nga po, isi-share ko sa inyo yung mga nabili ko na mga law school supplies for my law school which will happen the soonest. So may pasok na kami sa June 13, 2019. So siguro by the time na napapanood nyo to, eh may pasok na kami. Okay? So let's start sa pag haul ng mga nabili ko sa school supplies. By the way, akapon, so we went to uh, National Bookstore to buy some school supplies. Kasama ko si Francis, yung kaklase ko sa law school. So we decided for the supplies, for the things that I think kailangan for law school. So, let's start sa pag -hohol. So, actually, may nabili ako sa National Bookstore and the other na parang school supply department sa, sa city because nung pumunta kami ng National Bookstore, may mga staff doon na wala. Parang nung pumunta kami, parang we felt na parang disappointed because there were some like areas there sa National Bookstore na parang kulang, parang kailangan ng replenishment but by the time na andun kami, e eh, wala na. Parang paubos na lahat. Sa bagay, na-realize ko din na parang it's normal because like now is pasukan, like opening of classes and siguro medyo naubos na yung mga supplies because may mga nauna na, na nakabili especially for elementary or sa mga high school sa mga colleges na bumibili ng mga supplies din for them so yun now let's start with the things that I bought sa National Bookstore so first I bought a pad of a yellow pad isang pad ng yellow pad I had this for 27.76 pesos I asked my friend na nag law school na before I asked him kung may mga exam ba and according to him meron daw so kailangan din daw ng yellow pad so I bought one pad for siguro kaya na to for one sem and naghanap ako ng mas makapal I think this one is hindi talaga yung kompleto kasi 80 leaves lang may mga nakita ko doon na mas mahal and mas, ma mas makapal siguro yun more than 100 na sheets hindi ko rin sure kasi matagal na ako nag college so hindi ko na sure kung ilan ba yung mas makapal pa nito so ito nang binili ko kasi ako lang naman gagamit tapos para hindi naman siguro everyday din may exam so ayos na ako dito this is just 27 pesos next so I bought this one this is I was torn between buying normal notebook tsaka yung binder di ba sa college yung nagamit usually is binder yung binder is yung mas makapal na notebook tapos marami na siyang maliit na notebook inside ng malaking notebook so that's binder usually binder is used by college students so now nung pumunta kami sa national bookstore naghanap kami ng mas ganda na quality. This one is naka-spiral sa na may ganito. Yung plano ko sana is one subject, isang notebook. But sabi ng kaibigan ko na mas maganda daw pag ganito, yung spiral. Yung point naman niya is ganito ha. May sinabi kasi siya sa akin na ano. Buksan natin. This one is six subject notebook from National Bookstore. This is exclusively available sa National Bookstore lang. This one cost, I think this is 199 or 190 pesos. And dito, para na siyang binder pero mas maganda na klase ng binder. Naka-plastic, may garter na sa dito for lock kaya hindi siya ma-open. And meron siyang six na separations or parang you can use this for your six subjects which is sakto sa uh, load ko ngayon sa first year na law school. Because I have six subjects so far, I have 18 units only. So this one is sakto. May six na siya for six subjects tapos 100 sheets per subject. Now, yung nirecommend ng friend ko na ano, ganito na spiral kasi daw minsan pag nagsa-study is pwede siyang gamitin ganito. Like, naka-fully siya nasa back. Hindi siya sa gabal pag nag-study. Gaganyan niya siya ng full. So, parang madali lang. ba? Pag nagsulat ka din dito, yan. Madali lang siyang sulatan kasi nga, hindi siya tulad nung sa ano, yung naka-staple lang na may uumbok siya dito. Pag ginopen pag mo siya, mag-uumbok siya dito. Kaya mas maganda tong ganito na spiral. So, if you haven't bought your notebooks yet, so I recommend siguro mas maganda pag ganito. Naka-spiral. Tapos, binder na din siya. And also, good thing about spiral na notebook is pag nagkamali ka, tas medyo OC ka, pwede mo siyang i-tear agad ng ganun. Mas madali, tapos mas malinis. Yun. So, this one will be my notebook for the entire sem for the next months. So, my binder. Next, I also bought this one. Uh, this one is correction tape. This one is correction tape. I bought this one for nakasale siya actually. This one, the original price is 112 pesos but this one, nabili ko lang for 67.50. So, mas nakamura siya 
pag may naisip ko lang pag may pag nagkamali ko sa pagsulat o sa pag underline ng mga things sa book siguro I can use this one but according to my friend hindi lahat ng mga professors mga instructors sa law school ay nag-aalaw ng ganito so you have to ask pa the instructor if you are going to use correction tape or correction liquid and also mas pinili ko yung tape kasi pag liquid kasi mas matagal mo siyang hintayin para matuyo but this one pag ginamit mo siyang ganun mas mabilis mas matutuyo siya agad then I also bought highlighters I bought three colors ng highlighters this one is parang pastel na yellow tapos luminous na green tapos luminous na orange I bought this one because according to my friends kailangan daw siya sa law school because importante pag may mga points dun sa book na gusto mong i-take note eh i-highlight mo lang siyang ganun tapos yun na and mas maganda daw pag mas mas maraming colors because one color will represent one topic for example this one is siguro uh, provision or parang ganun so when we were we, we went to another na school supplies na department or department store we found out na may mas mura pala na stabilo this one is stabilo may 4 sets kasi siya tas 130 lang this one isang ganito is this one is 36 the pastel colored na stabilo is 36 and this one the normal color is only 34.75 pag yung apat is nasa sa mga 100 100 yeah something pero mas nakakamura ka dun pag ano kasi apat na yun this one is tatlo lang and nasa 110 something na nabayaran ko mas makakamura sana kami dun kung dun kami pumunta pero yun na nga eh late na kaya wala na kami nagawa yung unang tinignan ko sa isang highlighter yung may nakita ko dun na actually there are three na brands of highlighters na nakita namin nung pumunta kami sa National Bookstore number one is Sharpie then next is yung Fabel and Castle ba yun? I'm not sure if I have the correct name Fabel and Castle yung, yung Sharpie gusto ko sana yun kasi yung pag nakita na kayo ng bagong Sharpie pag binuksan mo yung lead maganda sa tingnan para siyang highlighter of the future why? because yung lead niya is parang glass and talagang glass siya na makikita mo sa other side yung kamay mo kasi glass nga siya tapos may maliit lang na daanan ng ink yun yun yung sanang gusto ko kaya lang medyo mahal yung ganun na sharpie na, na highlighter is 74 pesos yung isang highlighter but this one is only 34 pesos and I also considered stabilo because this one is nakalagay dito is rechargeable or in other words this one is refillable so once nag run out na siya ng ink or ng color then you can just buy the refill or the, the recharge ng stabilo not the entire this one kasi ito mas mahal so siguro obviously mas mura yung refill na lang so, ito yung binili ko. I also bought some new pens. This one is gel na, na ball pens. This one is black and red. Wala lang. I just feel na parang kailangan ko ng bagong ball pen. Ito for siguro for note taking. Tapos ito naman po pag highlight ng medyo hindi naman masadong ano. Yung konti lang na kailangan ng highlight. So, I bought red. And also, na-realize ko din na pwede ko rin siya magamit sa work. Yung red tsaka yung black. Yung last ko nabili sa National Bookstore is this one. The Pilot Whiteboard Marker. Refill. Refill na lang siya because I have five na markers. White board markers na luma. Tapos yung binibili ko na lang is yung refill para hindi siya masyadong mahal. So ito, ginagamit ko siya usually pag may kailangan akong isulat. Siguro sa, sa may glass or sa may sa mga whiteboard na ano, kailangan ng medyo mabilis lang na ano ba. So I bought some refills for my supply. Uh, Nala ko this one is 150 pesos sa National Bookstore. Next, the supplies that I bought sa another na local na school supplies department. So let's open this one. So, yung unang nabili ko dun sa may local na school supplies department is this one. Folders na may garter. Hindi ko alam kung anong, anong term ng folder dito. So, I bought five because I just thought that kailangan ko siya pag may mga photocopies na kailangan ilagay dito para hindi siya mawala. At tapos, naka-organize pag may mga subjects na, for example, sa criminal law. I have criminal law one now for my law school. So, pag may mga photocopies na kailangan i-photocopy, tsaka kailangan kong i-save, tsaka i-file. So, dito ko na nilalagay. Every subject may isang folder. Parang kailangan ko pa ng isa kasi lima lang na nabili ko and I have six subjects for this set. One of this one cost uh, 11 peso. This one is 55 lahat. Next, I also bought this five colored na sticky notes. Ito siya is naka-rectangle na sticky notes because sa National Bookstore, wala silang available na sticky notes na ganito na maliliit. I was looking for sticky notes na yung parang maliit na squares or rectangle na mas, hindi ganito ang rectangle, pero mas maliit na squares lang kasi yun yung sana mas maganda kasi spacious siya, pero hindi naman malaki. Kaya lang, ito lang yung naging available. So, itong binili ko. May isa na mas malaki, parang isang ganito, ganitong size. Hindi ko siya pinili because I was thinking na Masyado siyang malaki. When we were looking for books, may mga codals doon na maliit lang na book. Pag ginamit, ginamitan ko siya ng ganito kalaking sticky note, siguro makakabay niya buong page. So, I think this one is good already. Pero, sige lang. Kulang to siya din. I can still buy for another set of sticky notes. Mura lang naman siya. This one, yung limang color na sticky notes na nakapack is only 50 pesos. So, mas mura siya and may iba-iba yung color. 
I bought this one, this GTEC na 0.3, Pilot GTEC na 0.3. This one is refill only. Kasi may GTEC na ako noon na hindi ko naman ginagamit. Mas mahal kasi pag yung GTEC talaga na ballpen yung binili mo. So, ginawa ko, yung refill na lang binili ko. This one is gagamitin ko siya for for note taking sa sticky notes since mas maliit yung ano niya mas fine yung yung sulat niya so hindi siya hindi siya masyadong uh, messy tingnan sa sticky notes and this one cost cost me 30 pesos na refill so siguro pag naubos siya then I'll just have to buy another refill and the last thing I bought uh, nung pumunta kami ng store is this one this pencil case this one is 14 pesos I bought this one I'm not really fan with the uh, with the color but I have no choice kasi yung yung ibang color dun is uh, mas luminous na na pink tsaka yung green na parang hindi ko siya ano ito na yung pinaka pinaka discreet na color na parang mas hindi siya maano mapansin na color so ito na binili ko this one is only 14 bumili ako ng ganito para lang sa ma-organize yung mga pens ko tsaka yung mga highlighters ito so this one I think I just hope this one will be helpful useful for for the supplies that I have and I also plan to to buy one rim of band paper like A4 band paper pero unfortunately hindi na ako nakapagpunta sa isang maliit na store school supply na ano. Kasi guys, if you're going to buy one rim of band paper, I advise you na huwag kayo bumili dun sa department store like sa mall. Kasi mas mahal yung, yung rim nila dun. Nung, uh, nung chinek ko dun sa ano, sa national bookstore, isang rim dun ng A4 na band paper is 290 plus. If my memory is right, it's 298 pesos yung isang rim. But pag dun ka sa labas bumili, it's only 190 plus. So makakasave ka ng 100 pesos. So saan siya nabibili? Dun kayo bumili sa may, you know, photocopying na stores or na parang stalls. May marami si lang supply doon ng tag-iisang rim ng band paper. The long, the, the short band papers, the A4 band papers. Tapos, they will be reselling their rims of band paper to a much cheaper na price. So, usually, doon ako bumibili pag kailangan ko lang isang rim ng band paper. So, yun. Uh, yun lang guys for today. Uh, Sinare ko lang kung anong mga nabili ko sa National Bookstore for my supplies for law school. And siguro next time, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show to you my final na laman ng law school bag ko. If may final bag na ako for law school. So, I think that's it for today. And I just hope you enjoyed what I shared today and nabigyan ko ng advice if you needed some. Uh, yun lang, if you have comments about this video, if you have suggestions for my next videos, may mga tanong kayo about law school, about me, or whatever, don't hesitate to write at once sa my comment box below. And yeah, don't forget to click subscribe and like if, if you like this video. And I think that's it for today and I will see you in my next video.